Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Introducing Jinx, and today I'm gonna be talking about my experience at Kehlani's concert, Blue Water Road. I'm super excited to be talking about this with you guys. So I asked you guys on Instagram, what video should I come out with next? It's been four months, I can't believe it. And you guys said y'all wanted to hear about my Kehlani experience. Let's get right into it, right? If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. Go like this video just because we love Kehlani over here on this side. And yeah, let's talk about it. My friend had invited me to a concert and I really, really didn't mess with the artist too much. So I was like, you know what? Maybe not that concert, but let's go to a different one. So one day, me and my boyfriend are driving through like Manhattan and I see past Radio City uh, music hall and it said Kehlani's name super huge for like August 16 or something like that I don't even know but I seen it and I was like oh my god Kehlani why haven't I thought about this listen I've been a Kehlani fan it's been a long time okay if you notice in my first up and coming videos when I came out on YouTube I used her instrumental one side of my face was Ben A banana powder and the other side I'm gonna talk about my background of how much I've been a fan because this is super important to me. She made a huge impact on my life, okay? Let's get a little deep before we get <laughs> right into it because you know it's the tsunami wave, okay? Back in about like 2016, I went to Bellevue Hospital. I was admitted for anxiety, depression. Let's just like speed right through that. <laughs> when I came out, the first person I remember listening to was Kehlani because her music did something for me that like, it empowered me, it made me feel confident, it made me realize that, you know, it's okay to love and to love hard and to wear your heart on your sleeve. And that's what her music does for me. And I know that uh, for a lot of people, this may do the same for you, you know. The fact that I could see her live in concert, this is an experience that I am going to take for the rest of my life. And I'm so thankful that it was her. <laughs> Well, my homegirl, Rican Souls, if you know, you know, uh, she's a foot model in the community, so go follow her, I'll put her little right here. He automatically asked me, like, oh, is she going to be in Atlanta? So I'm like, oh, you know, it, actually, yeah, she is going to be in Atlanta. So I was like, all right, cool. So booked my flight, she paid for the tickets or whatever, and we planned it out. Uh, August 6th, Wednesday, we're going to go see Kehlani live in concert lit <laughs> i'm so excited i can't believe it it's like saying it out loud i can't believe it i went to go see her um and i wanted to be like super early but you know we like to be productive girls so we make the best of out of all of our time so we were creating content and doing all this stuff um so by the time we got to kehlani's concert um the line was super long okay the line was wrapped around the stadium okay but thankfully the line went by really quick like the it was going fast okay and we're looking at the line i'll put like little videos and insert videos here and everybody on the line looks good okay let's just talk about it kaylani's fans it is it's practically all women uh stud women lipstick women beautiful women men of course couples beautiful it's just like the aura of the line was like okay this is the type of crowd that i want to be around okay line goes by fast we get in ah uh ah -uh. it's so funny because listen y'all i had a little something if you know you know i had a little mm -mm in my bag and it was in this container that my homegirl told me to put it in. We're gonna get past security or whatever. They check our bags and stuff. And she goes to my bag. And the lady goes, what is this? And I'm like, it's like a blunt bill. Like, <laughs> and she's like, a cigar? I'm like, yeah, a cigar. And she just puts it right back in my bag. And we're on and off. <laughs> And off we go. I was like so hype about that. Listen, I really thought we had two L's rolled up in that little thing. So 
<laughs> we got through, y'all. I can't believe it. We got through. Completely missed Rico Nasty's performance, honestly. Like, we get in there, it's already packed out. We're like, oh crap, how are we gonna get to the front? We're so short. We're both like 5'1", so we're like trying to get to the crowd or whatever. And we're like, let's go to the side. The side is probably the best part to still get a good view and still somewhat get close to the front so we go on the side area um we were debating if we wanted to get drinks and stuff but well, you know what i was just like so like ready to see kehlani i was just like not even i was like fuck that we don't even need to, to get any drinks i'm surrounded by like lesbian couples okay there was this one couple particularly that was right in front of us that was like all in each other's face making out with each other just like so like lovey-dovey with each other it was intense like me and friend were really like damn like damn like so much pda like damn they can't get a room like damn like we i know we felt it we felt that like lesbiana pressure on our shoulders <laughs> listen before I got to the show I seen Kehlani go viral over her flapjacks her flapjacks were flapping so I was super excited to see that okay after Rico Nasty finishes her performance then uh, Kehlani's DJ comes out DJ Noodle and listen she had the crowd singing like the crowd was singing it was crazy it was like we were singing off the top of our lungs it was super amazing like that was legendary to see Kehlani's crowd just like we were so in sync with one another like we was like it was an R&B vibe for sure so then Lit, we're singing and everybody's like Kehlani 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 and it was got me so freaking hyped And then the whole crowd on my side is like, oh, oh, like they, they went crazy. I'm like, what happened? Like they're all like looking up at, at the top because we're at the bottom. We're like at the at the floor. At the top, you see see that they're like trying to film somebody. They're like, oh, snap, it's Jack Harlow, it's Jack Harlow. So Jack Harlow was in the crowd watching Kehlani perform, which was freaking dope. I, I laugh. I cried. I... <laughs> damn near was recording the whole time that I almost knocked off a girl's bun and the girl's like girl you're about to knock my pony off and I'm like my bad and I'm like hold up your pony is in my way like that shit is in my way like first of all we gonna we have to have some like type of concert hair etiquette because the high buns and the big old froze is crazy. Listen, talking about the big froze, which song it was, but I lit up one of my L's, my L's, and I'm smoking it and I'm trying to record or whatever. And this girl with a big fro right next to me, and we took a picture together. I'm gonna see if she can send me that selfie. She takes my my joint with her hair and go foof and my joint was on the floor y'all where i was like oof this crowd i can't i can't i can't light it in peace so it is what it is I'm trying to get the best view of Kaylani that i could i was recording and then that moment hit <laughs> when she finally flapped her jacks. And it was so fucking hype. I got it on camera. I was excited. I was ecstatic. Listen, this is the moment I was waiting for. My life was made. I told my homegirl, I was, I was like, listen, once she performs everything, everything, that's my favorite out of her new album. It's the everything for me, for me. Of course.
Stars, it will be one of her last songs that she performs. I was like, that we could be out, okay? Coming into the concert, I was super scared that she wasn't going to perform any of her her old stuff. And listen, she did not freaking disappoint. Kehlani sung her heart out. I'm looking right at you. Like, I had tears coming down my eyes. It was just so beautiful. Her hair was blowing in the wind. It was an experience, for real. It was so beautiful. She brought out T-Pain. She brought out another Atlanta artist group. It was freaking amazing. I couldn't believe it. She really gave us a show. And I would absolutely go to another concert and I recommend going to concerts if you haven't been to any definitely if you have an artist that you you really love their music you love what they stand for you love their aura their vibe you have to you have to go and check them out live in concert because listen I have always been the type to to never love concerts like I never enjoyed concerts I was like oh my god I hate being so like crowded and like stuff like that but listen it was worth it. it was worth it it was absolutely worth it i went all the way from new york to atlanta to experience kehlani and it was absolutely freaking worth it there was moments in the crowd where like she i guess she would see that somebody might be passing out or somebody looked a little bit mm, woozy <laughs> She would stop the whole performance just to see if you're good and pass out waters. They were handing out waters to the crowd. He loves what she does. I could tell that her fans love her and I could tell that it's a vibe. It's so funny. It's just a queer vibe. I love it. They really gave what it was supposed to. For what I learned is that for future, for future concerts, especially for, for Kehlani, I am going to get tickets ahead of time and I'm gonna make sure I get those backstage passes and all that good stuff because I really do feel like me and Kehlani met already. It's, I feel like we know each other already without you. She doesn't even know me. Oh, she's just such a beautiful being and I think I really thank my friend Megan Souls for coming out with me and really making this happen for us. Like, Hopefully you guys enjoy my little story time at the Kehlani concert. It was worth it. Absolutely. You gotta check her out if you haven't checked her out live in concert. She's amazing. She's an amazing artist, entertainer, everything. Beautiful soul. Like, ugh, I'm just in heaven. I can't believe I've seen her. I can't. Comment below if you've ever been to a concert before. Let me know your experience. I would love to hear about it. Um, thank you so much for watching. It's Introducing Jinx and I'm up and I'm out like this is. And I appreciate those of you who participate in my Insta stories and let me know what kind of videos you want to see. I really do appreciate it. It goes a long way because it gives me the motivation to film it for real. Um, again, I'll see you on the next one.